based on the experience that you have um, on the big bill industry uh, for some time, um, can you, my, my next question will be, can you give me an example on how you handled a challenge in the workplace before? I was in an R escalation team wherein I received this call from a certain uh, passenger. Um, it's a passenger of Delta Airline actually. And she is requesting to like modify the ticket because her father passed away and she needs to, to go back to her country as soon as possible. But when I checked the, the ticket, it seems that this passenger missed already the departure fly, flight. And it's Delta's, Del, Delta Airlines policy that uh, it's no longer possible to, I mean, the ticket is already perfected actually because the, the departure flight was already missed. So uh, I tried to explain that it's no longer possible and the only option for this passenger is to just buy a brand new ticket, which is actually triple the, the fare because it's a last minute uh, booking. So this passenger is really yelling at me already and telling me that you're just sitting there with a very big belly, <laughs> something like that. And I hope your father also will die. She's already That's cursing me. And uh, by that time, when I received this call, I'm still mourning because my mother just passed away. So uh, I I wasn't able to control myself that time that I, I just cried. I, I mute, I placed her actually on hold and then I cried because I remember my mother and then this person is uh, cursing me to that my father should also pass away. That's the time that my manager uh, approached me. And... Um, I don't have any choice. I can no longer speak with that passenger. That's why my manager take the call. And after that, um, my manager uh, took the call. Uh, it, the call went smoothly. And um, I was just asked by my manager to contact Delta Airline directly to ask if there's something that um, we can do for this passenger since the the father her father passed away so i tried i still try to ask delta airline if it's possible however the delta airline is asking for some proof like the death certificate wherein this passenger can alone cannot still provide because the past the, the fa her father just passed away so uh the delta airline really did not uh grant my request so i tried to contact once again this passenger to to inform her that uh, we tried our best, we did our best, but it, it's really not possible. That's the, the airline policy that we cannot bend. And uh, maybe that passenger just under, uh, understand already what um, that we are just following the policy of the airline and just accepted the fact, the fact that uh, she, this is really how the way it is. She can no longer change the, the flight or modify. And uh, I just help her to, to find the, the best or, or the, the cheapest ticket that we have on that day. And actually, she's, she also says sorry after, after that call because uh, uh, she told me that uh, she just, uh, it's, uh, she just told that or it's, it's not her intention to, to tell that it's, just so happened that her father passed away so yeah just, uh, got carried yeah. away with uh, his or <laughs> yes. her emotions but at least uh, at least you uh, be able to uh, overcome that yeah. overcome that uh, challenge and um, last degrees um, last question that we have is uh, why should we hire you okay you should hire me because I I'm confident to say that uh, I can give 100% of my skills and knowledge to the company. Uh, my experience as an OFW and a customer service representative, and also a subject matter expert who handles inbound calls and escalation calls and cases made me ready to face new challenges. And additionally, the training that I had being a real estate virtual assistant uh, made me more confident. Uh, just like what I've mentioned, it's really an extensive training. Uh, they gave us a lot of ideas how to become a real estate uh, virtual assistant. Uh, they introduced us how real estate industry work. And we also did a lot of mock call. So for me, uh, with a proper knowledge and attitude, it's safe for me to 
say that I can handle every every test that you will be assigning me. I don't believe in the word quit because quitters never win. So I'm a very positive person. I know that it's 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 hard. It's not easy for me to enter the the virtual assistant industry despite my experience as a, a customer service representative because I still experience failures, though I already have an experience, but I still keep on trying because this is really what I want. And um, there's no harm in trying, no shame in failing. At least I've tried and I did my best. So I'm a positive person and uh, that's the key for me to delivering great results. That, that's a very well said, Grace. Thank you so much. No um, so uh, I'll let uh, Clint to take it from here so you guys can start the role play. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. You're welcome. Great. Thank you, Ren. Hi, Grace. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Are you still nervous? Mm, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't feel that way. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be. We'll have a role play. And I want you to take a deep breath first. All right. Okay. And just relax. And before we start, I want to uh, heads off to you because, I mean, as an OFW, it's, it's not an easy one. It's not a walk in the park. All right. So just be yourself whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Perfect. Ring, ring. Hi, my name is Grace of uh, Benter Keller Williams Realty. I'm calling about your property at 1238 Monte Carlo Street and seeing that it was came off the market last month. If I may ask, is that still for sale? And do you have an agent that we need to talk to? Well, yeah, it's still for sale. I do have an agent, but it's uh, our contract is already expired. Oh, oh, that's great to hear. Um, if I may ask uh, two weeks from now, if we find a qualified buyer for the right price, would you still be interested in selling the property? Well, I would, yeah, but um, do you have a buyer? Mm, actually, yes. Uh, thank you so much for asking. We actually have a number of buyers that are looking for specific properties mm. and would like to check any that matches. Did they answer your question? Yeah, you did. And where did you find a number? Oh, um, I actually find your number on that platform called Nexus Lexus, if that makes sense. Nothing in particular, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good to know. Okay. Uh, um, the price of the property is at is at five hundred twenty grand. Is that something negotiable, or are you firm on that? It, it well, it's negotiable for for a higher higher than the five twenty grand. But for now, oh. I can say it's I'm firm on that. Oh, firm five twenty grand. Okay, got it. And um, when the home sells for you, uh, where are you planning to move next? Are you to downsize, relocate, or any plans? For now, I don't have any plans, uh, Grace. Okay, that's fine. And when the time that it was came off uh, on the market, uh, did you have any showings and offers? As I remember, there were offers, but none of those are successful. Oh, I see. And oh, what did they told you why the house did not sell well, well it did do not anything oh, i'm sorry to hear that it normally depends actually on how the property is being marketed so to attract qualified buyers i'm actually working for brian salvador of a benzer keller williams realty one of the top five percent agents in the local market the last property we sold was just a month ago Though we're, uh, most are saying that uh, the market is not good since it's near holiday and most will wait till spring. It's a month that are calling for specific properties. And since your property is not registered in MLS, we'd like to drop by and preview the property. Would well, that works for you? Oh, yes, of course. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll have my manager call you back ASAP. Is that the best number to call you back? Or well, is this probably, the best number? But, uh, uh, question, I'll just give you another number to call on. Okay. Can I have your best callback number? Sure. It's 513 321 1133. Okay. 513 321 1133. Is that correct? Got it. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for this information. This will be noted and I'll forward also this information to my manager. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day. You're welcome. Stay safe. Bye. Thank you, Grace. Uh, that concludes your certification uh, for today. Do you have any questions for me or for the rest of the trainers? Mm, none so far. Thank you so much for, for this opportunity. Thank you, Grace.